I'm a Sagittarius, which probably tells you way more than you need to know. Yes, it tells us that you participate in the mass cultural delusion that the sun's apparent position relative to arbitrarily defined constellations at the time of your birth somehow affects your personality. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Zodiac memes. So, what's interesting in your life right now? Well, Mercury is in retrograde, making projects difficult to complete and causing general chaos in the universe. For this list, we'll be looking at the most hilarious and apt memes for anyone who loves astrology. Let us know your favorite Zodiac meme in the comments. Number 10. Signs as most used apps. This meme pairs each Zodiac sign with the app that they're most likely to be found using. Of course, classic homebody Taurus would be Uber Eats, because they'd rather do anything than leave their house on a Friday night. If you buzz our door, there's no tip for you. <laughs> okay, thanks. <sighs> Pizza's on the way. I told you we wouldn't have to get up. Gemini has to be Twitter, because how else would they find an audience for every thought that passes through their heads? Nick, I don't know, but Gina's been live tweeting the whole thing. She live tweets everything. Ruined Downton Abbey for me. Virgo is, hilariously, the calendar app, which is probably the least fun you can have on your phone. This calendar was last year's calendar day present, celebrating the first time she ever bought me a calendar. <sighs> Capricorn is Gmail, because you know they're more likely to be catching up on work emails than scrolling through social media. Number nine, Kate and Charlotte. For anyone who is both a royal fan and a follower of astrology, this meme is for you. One of our favorite meme formats features an image with the sign split into various opposing camps. In this case, we see Princess Charlotte sticking her tongue out at an unidentified target and Kate Middleton trying to hold her back. The spunky Charlotte is tagged with Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Taurus sharing their honest opinion. While her mom represents Libra, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Pisces, and Scorpio, keeping her in line. This is ridiculous. Why can't there just be two Kate Middletons? Guys, I know. I mean, I wish there could be two. Number eight, harsh review. Co-star Astrology has one of the best Zodiac accounts on Instagram because of their modern take on the various star signs. They put out a ton of content comparing the different characteristics of the signs, and this one is as savage as it is hilarious. While you may be able to laugh as you identify yourself, we wouldn't be surprised if some might be slightly offended by this take. But come on, who wouldn't want to be seen as a human megaphone? You tried to take my megaphone. No, I just didn't want you to drop it. No one touches my megaphone. No one. Or an emotional leaky faucet. Hi, I just got... Don't worry, it's all in good fun. Number seven, get in trouble. In another instance of splitting the zodiac signs into two distinct camps, we have this meme. How exactly have you been looking out for me? Are you insane? That's all I ever do. Okay, the one day, the, the one time I want it to be about me for a change, I get inducted into the Roxy Ryan School of Juvenile Delinquency. I've been Ironically, comparing two decidedly uncool t shirts, the creator tagged Aries, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Pisces as the ones who will get in trouble, and Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Libra, and Capricorn as the ones who will be more likely to fix things. You're a no count philander and lazy bump on a log. <laughs> Joy. What'd you say? Nothing. A stick in the mud. This is the perfect meme to tag your bestie in, especially if the two of you feature on opposite sides of the troublemaking spectrum. There's a reason why opposites attract in terms of friendships. See, the grasshopper goofed off while the ant worked hard, storing up food for the winter. When the winter came, the ant had food, but the grasshopper starved to death. You know what the moral of the story is? Yep, even if we were insects, I'd be bigger than you. <gasps> Number six, how to wear a cardigan. All of the astrological signs have a distinct way of dressing, and this meme manages to sum it all up in one simple image. Using a cardigan as both a piece of fashion and a symbolic stand-in for how each sign functions, it manages to get to the core of who each sign is. Can't hear anything you say when you wear that sweater, Schmidt. You open your mouth and I just hear cardigan. Cardigan. I am wearing a cardigan. A Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Taurus, or Cancer wears the cardigan in the conventional way that you'd be expected to. A Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, on the other hand, manage to sport it in a way that turns it into a true look. This is a new cardigan. Kind of blech. Maybe you could tie it around your waist or 
lose the shirt underneath or something. What about Geminis and Libras? Obviously, they manage to lose the sweater immediately. Number 5. Titanic in Retrograde Has Mercury been in retrograde for all of 2020? So, what's interesting in your life right now? Well, Mercury is in retrograde, making projects difficult to complete and causing general chaos in the universe. The feeling of relief when things finally go back to normal is always palpable among astrology followers, so this meme is especially apt. Of course, the experience of it was somewhat different. Taken from the popular meme format featuring Old Rose from 1997's Titanic, this image perfectly represents our feelings. It may not have actually been 84 years since Mercury went into retrograde, but it can sure feel like it sometimes. It's been 84 years, and I can still smell the fresh paint. The china had never been used. This meme comes from at your mom's horoscope, which is a great follow for anyone who likes their astrology with a side of humor. Number 4. Houseplant Parenting Plant ladies are the new cat ladies, right? Owning houseplants has been increasingly trendy in recent years, and even those without green thumbs have been trying their hand at it. You love your plant, don't you? It's my best friend. I was happy. No questions. But which members of the Zodiac can actually keep a plant alive? According to this meme, Tauruses do the best job, while Cancers, Capricorns, Libras, Pisces, and Virgos come in right behind them. The rest, however, may want to stick with the fake ones, because their own lack of nurturing qualities and sense of responsibility might leave them with shriveled up plant remains all over their houses. Your plant is dead. How did it die so quickly? It may have been self-inflicted. <sighs> Poor thing. Number 3. Making Plans These days, it seems like it's harder and harder to make plans with people. On nights where you just want to curl up on your couch and watch Netflix, you have to find a way to turn down the friends who are trying to hang out with you. Every zodiac sign has their own way of dealing with this. I can't go out. <laughs> I'm sick. Boo, you whore. Some will assert their independence and not be worried about hurting anyone's feelings, simply responding, nah. Others will write a long paragraph apologizing and making excuses for why they're not up for it. Aquarians and Geminis, however, well, they won't answer at all. Percentage-wise, it is 100% easier not to do things than to do them. <laughs> and so much fun not to do them, especially when you were supposed to do them. In terms of, like, instant relief, canceling plans is like heroin. It is an amazing <laughs> feeling. Number 2. Zodiacs at a Restaurant PureWow makes some great Zodiac memes, with this one comparing how each star sign acts when they're out for dinner. Well, I'm gonna start with the grilled radicchio. Jazz, Sally is a great order. Not only does she always pick the best thing on the menu, but she orders it in a way that even the, the chef didn't know how good it could be. They manage to give concise and yet appropriate assessments for each sign, pointing out, for example, that the Aries would be quietly seething over getting the wrong dish, the Virgo would be criticizing the meal no matter how good it is, the Capricorn would be in charge of splitting the complicated bill, and the Aquarius would forget her dinner in order to defend a server who is being treated poorly. Plus tip divided by six. Okay, everyone owes 28 bucks. Okay. Um, everyone? Yep, sounds about right. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Zodiac Date is it just us, or is the Venn diagram covering astrology lovers and cat ladies just a circle? For any single believers in the Zodiac, you may have experienced a potential partner seeming quizzical about your interest in the stars and their meanings when you're out on a first date. I actually yeah. thought of sending over a drink or saying something clever and what's your sign. You know, I, just, I figured directness would be the best approach. People can get quite judgy when it comes to astrology. So it wouldn't be the first time you've ever seen someone roll their eyes when you ask what their sign is. I'm a Sagittarius, which probably tells you way more than you need to know. Yes, it tells us that you participate in the mass cultural delusion that the sun's apparent position relative to arbitrarily defined constellations at the time of your birth somehow affects your personality. No matter, you can just go home and enjoy a nice evening in with your cat, right? Christine and Ferguson about to split some pasta. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. 
and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.